Hi guys, Sai is here back with another interesting and most important video and today in this video I am going to talk about top 3 best Magis modules repository managers where you can download different type of Magis modules. Okay, and one important point is don't skip any part of this video because I am going to talk about some important settings of this Magis modules repository manager. After that you can get a safe modules also you can get some extra modules after done this settings. Okay, so don't skip any part of this video. And if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe our channel and also join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. Okay, I will provide this modules, this modules repository manager APKs and links also on our channel. So definitely join our telegram channel. Okay, so without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay, let's start with first Magis module repository manager. This manager name is mrepo. So as we can see here, it is the GitHub page of this mrepo. Okay, simply you can uh, come here and after that you can get it from here. Okay, so as we can see talking about supported versions. So Android version from 8.0 to Android 14. If you're using Magis then 24 or latest, you need to use then talking about kernel issue 0.5.1 uh, and a patch version is also mentioned. So this this versions is supported and if you uh, click on this latest version at the bottom then you need to come here as we can see then scroll down and simply you need to click on this assist option and simply click on this APK as we can see. So it will going to download. Okay, I already downloaded and install it. So you can download it from our telegram channel also or you can download it from that github page link. Okay, after opening you can get this type of module section. As you can see, I already installed these modules because uh, I need this module. So that's why as we can see on the installed section, the modules is showing right now. But talking about if you want this modules, some uh, this online models, then where you can get. So as we can see on the left of the bottom, uh, repository is present. So when you click on repository, then you can see a lot of modules. But you need to enable some important uh, settings. You need to add repository link for that repository modules. So where you can add that repository link. So I will provide the link on description or our telegram channel. So simply you need to paste that repository link on this repository section. As we can see, click Click on this pencil icon uh, and after that you need to paste that repository link on here after that click on ok that or click on add after that the repository is added as we can see here it is this is a repository i added i double z y on droid magis repo so this is the repository i added you can add a different type of repositories okay so i will provide this repository link so definitely uh, copy paste that repository link on repository section and after that it will load the uh, modules on repository section like that here it is that all reposit uh, in the repository section all modules are loaded you can simply click on it and you can download it and you can flash it through magis kernel as you are a patch now talking about second repository magis mo uh, module manager name is mmrl this is magis module repo loader and you can use this on kernel as you a patch or magisk okay so this is the page of github page of this mmrl simply come on this page and you can download this mmrl on play store because it is available on play store you can download it from github app droid okay and other site okay so talking about requirements you need to android 8 or uh, android version 8 or later and 4 to 5 gb ram okay it is mandatory for this installation of this mmrl okay and talking about uh, click on this latest and presently when i'm going to show you this uh, github page so this is the latest version click on assist option and download the arm 64 version 8a release okay or if you don't know what is your uh, mobile architecture then simply download cpuz application from play store and after that you can uh, see what is your architecture i mean your cpu architecture and according to that you can download this um, APK okay so presently my device is ARM64 8A and most of the devices are ARM64 8A okay after opening this MMRL as we can see here it is the explore option on explore option you can get a lot of magis modules right so you can download any module and you can flash it through kernel SU A patch or magisk okay so here it is all the module section is present talking about installed magis modules uh, so here it is install module 
is present also update is comes if any update of module is come then you can see on modules update section okay and talking about repositories two repositories are already added one are googler magis repo and other one is magis module alt repo and here it is one other module is not added that is i double z y on droid magis repository so i am click on plus button and that um repository is added so it going to load it okay now it is added so if you want some extra modules then definitely add this repository which that repository i double z y on droid repository okay so you will get a extra lot of magis modules on this explore section okay so this is the mmrl magis module repository and talking about some settings is present so you can see or different type of settings so you can see it okay i'm not going to talk about that settings talking about some other things uh, you can get a blocked i mean blacklisted modules so here it is some blacklisted modules is present so if you want to use it then definitely you can go for it but this is our blacklisted modules okay so this is the modules this is the best magis module repository manager and uh, you can go for another manager also if you don't like that mmrl now talking about third magis module repository manager this name is android android ac so this is the previously it is known as a fox magis module repository okay so now it is known as a andro android ac magis module repository okay so this is very interesting uh, repository manager uh, talking about requirements uh, android 8 9 or magis version is 21 24 or higher kernel is 0.5 plus or latest okay so you need a vpn connection in some reason so if that module repository is not loaded so then definitely use vpn okay uh, click on this latest version presently this is 2.3.7 this is the later version okay so i will provide the github page link definitely visit this page and you can download latest version okay um directly it is not provided on this uh, that on github so simply you need to go, take some extra steps so you can go on this uh, next site and here it is download page click on download page and after that you need to scroll down it will redirect you in another page and after that you can able to download this android ac magis module repository manager apk okay so scroll down scroll down uh, here it is as we can see here is a different type of architecture uh, apk is present talking about this universal release apk is working on all the architecture so definitely go for this universal um, apk okay uh, so after downloading after downloadation completion install it on your device after that open this and as you can see here it is some important settings which we need to note that that is so like here it is the enable the android repository uh here it is the safe and uh, updated modules talking about some extra module if you want then you need to enable this the magisk alt repo this is also safe okay so you can uh, enable this toggle after that required modules be safe also enable this toggle for safety purpose okay so enable this module definitely which is uh, require module be safe i'll definitely enable this toggle okay and if you want some extra modules then enable this uh, magisk alt repo toggle okay so i am enabled firstly this alt repo and also i am enable this safe mode okay so after enabling all these um, toggles you can scroll down and check the terms and condition and click on finish click on allow and the limitation of this uh, repository manager is it will take a lot of time to load the modules okay as we can see it take a lot of time yeah this is the disadvantage or we can call limitation of this repository manager yeah guys it take a lot of time as we can see if your internet is fast also it will take some little bit of time so as we can see my wi-fi is very fast but still it will take a lot of time because it will take little i think it will take 15 to 20 seconds yeah guys it will take 15 to 20 seconds to load talking about some important settings as we can see here it is a different type of settings is present so you can see a different type of settings you can add a different type of repository links yeah guys you can add a different type of repository links after adding you can get a lot of extra repository modules so if you want to add any repository module then you can go to go to add it but um, previously all the repositories are added because on this magis module repository i mean talking about this android ac module uh, 
repository so you can get a lot of modules yeah guys you can download and install a lot of modules a lot of modules is present talking about mrepo or mmrl uh, as compared to those repository this repository comes with a lot of modules a lot of modules is, as we can see i'm scroll down scroll down but no one modules are ending okay and uh, talking about uh, he, when you enable the safe mode the module is blocked yeah guys when you enable safe mode some modules are blocked so if you enable that safe mode the some risky modules is blocked so you can not able to download it okay and also uh, you will take it will take some little bit of time to download the magis module because it will uh, redirect you on that page on the download page so it will show you some ads like that so as we can see install blocked because we are enabled that uh, safe mode that's why it's not going to install because it's this module is not good as we can see saturation module increase the saturation of the panel to 2x oh my god so that's why it's not going to install so you can go for any other module where the safe tag is present like uh, as we can see here it is the safe tag is present so i'm going to uh, install any module which are uh, able to install safely so as we can see here it is no storage restrict as we can see this safe safe uh, tag is present so the modules are easily you can able to download where the safe tag is present and if you don't want that safe tag and you want to download any module then you need to turn off that safe mode that safe mode toggle you need to turn off that safe mode toggle on the um, previously we are set some important settings right some we are enable some toggles like safe mode toggle then you need to disable that safe not safe mode toggle after that you are good to go to install any module okay if that module is risky also that module is downloaded and you can install it so note this point okay that's why we are enabled that safe mode toggle okay so here it is a different type of toggles is present you can read description also you can update modules all things are present and this is the best as compared to all okay so this is the video if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care all the module links i mean all the module repository manager links and apk is available on our channel then definitely join our telegram channel okay and also subscribe our channel and so okay goodbye take care love you guys bye bye